Oh, hello. I'm Michael Mercer. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. I'm Nash, and this is our C. Elegance lab that we did in biotech period two. The purpose of this lab is we're investigating the silencing of a gene using the RNAi system to see what the purpose of the gene is. Let's get started. We began our lab by studying the appearance, behavior, and morphology of our C. elegans. We first noticed that the wild-type worms were, had dark bodies and moved in a wave-like motion, almost like zigzags. Occasionally, the C. elegans would curl up into a circle. It was not uncommon to see many clumped all together in a big pile, all weaving and curling up together. The L1 worms seemed very small and string-like. It was almost hard to see them. But the L2s got a little bit thicker and longer, yet they were still pretty small. But once it got to the L3s, they had substantial size, but they were still pretty thin. The L4s got a bit thicker, and they seemed darker than the ones before. But the adults, they were very thick and also much bigger than the others. During the experiment, transfer with chunking a small one centimeter cube of the agar with the wild type worms that contained the new RNAi feeding bacteria, B. During this lab, we made sure to keep sterile lab techniques, as such using an alcohol burner in order to burn off all the bacteria on the chunking tool in order to... During this lab, we transferred through chunking a cube of agar from the original wild type worms to a new agar plate with the RNAi feeding strand containing bacteria B. The worms were transferred from an OP50 environment to a NGM light one. After the worms had been transferred to the new RNAi plate, we noticed that the worms were lighter and they seemed to have spots around the side, which we then discovered was because of the bacteria B blistering caused blisters to form around the L3, L4 life cycle of the worms. But how does this happen? Well, first, the BLI1 double-stranded RNA enters a cell and triggers the RNAi pathway. Then, once inside, the dicer cuts up any double-stranded RNA it finds into short RNA called small interfering RNAs, or siRNA. These siRNAs bind to several proteins, forming the RNAi-induced silencing complex, or RISC. Double-stranded siRNAs are unzipped, leaving a single-stranded RNA. The RISC probes the cell for mRNA that it recognizes, and then it binds to the matching RNA and cleaves it. This concludes our C. elegans lab. We hope you enjoyed watching it half as much as we enjoyed making it. We really learned a lot about RNA, RNAi interference and how it works to silence a gene and then discover what that gene does. So, what are your guys' impressions on the lab? Despite the fact that you committed mass genocide, the new bacteria tasted delicious. And uh, how would you say that, like, Michael and I did observing you guys? You guys did a superb job being witnesses to our deaths. Catch you later. Live long and prosper.